Okay, bitches. This might be the finale of the inscription playthrough. I'm not sure. I'm BD1P. Hello. That was a weird intro, but I'm really excited to finish this game if possible. Uh, every single time you've gotten close to an ending, the game's been like, ah, no, uh, uh, you're there's still more chapters to go. So this could be like, you know, an act four situation. But as far as I know, this is the last act in the game. So we might be done right after this boss fight here. So what happened last time? Well, we lost. That's what happened last time. Took some pretty big hits. Unpacking Galadot's zip. So this boss fight seems to be pretty difficult. Unless she was like a two-hit kill, which is very funny. But this one like goes online and takes your Steam friends and, they, and like, internet-based cards and gives them to you. Uh, off the bat here, though, I'm noticing that we have Mrs. Smart. Who Mrs. Smart is my custom-made card that uh, is actually quite good. And why don't we put an explode bot over here so we can deal some damage in the meantime and end our turn. Perfect. Okay, good. You're still living, though. That's impressive, honestly. Okay. Send me a card. I'll try to pick it up. What you got for me? A card, but from the web. Dr. Two 2000. What do you think? <laughs> it's yours. Uh, dies in one turn, does four damage, goes back to your hand. This person is the best man alive. Oh my god. Alexis, let's go. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? Okay. Draw a card. Okay. Boom. I can put an emerald vessel down here. Holy shit. Whoever gave me Dr. Toot, I fucking love you. Oh, I just shot Alexa in the face. Oh, shit. There goes all the collab potential there, huh? <laughs> Dude, just, just watch this shit, honestly. Bye-bye. Whoever sent me Dr. Toot, you are the greatest man in existence. I love you. Time to pay forward that favor you got? That card someone else made? Make it good, your success counts on it? Okay. I'm gonna make the same thing. This person made me. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. And we actually get to add another... Oh, we can't add. We can add, like, a 2 HP thing, but it doesn't really matter. Um, or, or, hold on. Hold on. Ah, it was a 0 SP. Okay. This might be actually a very fun card to use. I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna make this one. You're gonna look very, very cool. You're double thumbs up. You are really just feeling the mode right now. Yeah, yeah, why not? Actually, that one's cool. Uh, and then you can have like a, you can have like a Maggie from Isaac and your name is going to be uh, that. No, I don't like that one. How about the, 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 the thing, the, the thing. Yeah, that's the one. The, the thing. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right. And away it goes. Waiting on the web. I'm itching it. It's not going to happen. This might be the most, like, genuinely OP card in existence here. It's going to kill, it's going to kill everything on your board, but it will also, uh, kill everything on the other person's board as well. Okay, it's mine now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Play that. Um, put a vessel down there. Put a vessel over here. Why not? And just end your turn. Okay. We got our thing back. Take some hits here. Let me fight. Wait. God fucking damn it. Who made a five damage card? 
I did, I did. I, I played that bad. I could have put an empty vessel where he was and it would have been fine, but here we go again. Oh, just, just go faster, please. I, I, this is a very annoying fight to redo because the middle section takes forever to do. Okay. Yes, I, I'm ready. Let me just let me do it. Let me just fucking beat it, okay? Please. God. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Pull another one out. Boom, boom, boom. Dang, you're dead almost. Next turn, you'll, this turn you die, actually. Beautiful. Okay. You then, uh, play another vessel. Amazing it worked. There's the smart, not smart bot. Okay, you don't seem that smart. You do four damage, though. Uh, I very much appreciate that. So why don't we get some more guys on the board here? Uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with a fucking, uh, I guess you're a one damage card, aren't you? Okay. And we'll put you over here, and we'll end it. Cool. You're dead. You're gonna die next turn. Alexa is back, everybody. Say hello. And then all I gotta do now is play, uh, I gotta play a card, obviously. Pick up you, put you down, and end your turn, and you should. One, two, three, four. Next turn, you win, then. Next turn, you win free. Does nobody die? Okay, you're a bitch. You died. You, can, you can't die on me like that. Oh, my God. Uh... Nah, we, we win this. We win this, though. Hold on. Pick a card. Hammer. Hammer. Back it up. Miss Smart. You go right there. Uh, Play the vessel down, I guess. Boom. Take a damn... Take, get hit there, Alexa, because she shot me right in the face, and we win. Okay, now it's phase two. Now it's phase two. A card for a card. Your turn. Okay. Boom, you want, you want Death Cycle. You then want the Annoying Clock. You then want Brittle Bones. And you then want, um... That. And you are now even again, so you just move on. You customize him. Perfect, my favorite guy. Uh, Doctor, Doctor Thematic. Doctor Thematic, confirm. Here we go, sending. Heading on the web. I'm waiting on you, Dr. Golly, Mrs. Golly, whatever your name is. Okay, now don't fuck this up and you win first try. Cool. Okay. Draw one of these. You go right there. You go right here. And you you win, right? All right, cuz the mole happens. That's right. I forgot about that. The mole always trips me up there, man. You have a 13 health card. Are you joking? This game hates me. Uh it's okay though because now we can just do this. And now we should just win. We don't, we're not going to win now because we're going to do more damage that way. But we get him back in our hand. So we can now, again, just simply uh, place him down right there. Lock some damage. And end your turn. Okay. We finally beat the final boss. Well, I guess we got to go fight PO3 now. The actual PO3. Quite enough of that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, all the ones and zeros are gone. Achievement unlocked, natural connection, beautiful. All right, gate time. That was the last Uber bot. The great transcendence is at hand. Go back to the start, more dramatic that way. All right, cool. I got a notification. What? The dredging room security camera is busted. It's nothing, probably nothing. Go check on it right now. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm running to it. Oh. Something has happened here. What did you see? Heard of the pipes you defeated Gali? A strange character? Your curiosity is so pure. But now we're on the web. What you have allowed. Paradoxical. Okay. 
I want to solve this, though, still. Can't be that many solutions, right? I guess there are a lot of solutions, huh? All right, we got one. Oh, we're on the internet now. I'm not a robot. <laughs> okay, cool. Ooh, Jesus. Where are we going? Is this Casey? Is this Casey? The Great Transcendence? No, we don't think so. Temporarily put our differences aside for the greater good. We shall see what good comes of it. Perish your anxieties, Magnificus. The bot must be stopped. And you, Challenger, will provide the perfect distraction. Yes, perhaps. Perhaps the PO3 believes it as one. So jubilant it will be, that android. It will disregard the surveillance cameras. Yes, Challenger. Keep playing, defeat those half-baked bosses, play out those... Hacken, hacken need, hack need mechanics. And when the moment is right, we will strike. I'll be the one to strike. Go now, challenger. Indulge the decrepit machine. Make PO3 feel joy so that I may snuff it out. Okay. If you say so. If you say so. Out of the web I come. Back to society. We solved it. I was watching. The master. What an honor that was. Are you giddy? The end of the robots is, are, are, is nigh. Rejoice. Can I have the code now? Bless you, that stinky beast man. Ever for stuffing me in that bottle? Well, you know. It happens. The end is nigh. My favorite Edmund McMillan game. Look at that. I want to know what this puzzle is, though, but I don't have the solution with me. There was a box here before. Okay. Well, I must let PO3 win now, apparently. Oh, what's in here? Oh, I haven't- I didn't even walk in here before. The soft fur of a pelt. Have you brought us some? Beautiful. We do not know everything. Certain secrets. Cool. As Big Ear, he did not outlive his plot. One disc among the old data traveled across sea. Discover poor Brary is put to the gun. More pelts. I, got, I think I have two or three pelts. Beth. Glean the purpose of the Karnoff code. It's terrible. The code is in the cards. And then Oblivion. 0001101. Okay. I have no hollow pelts. They exist in the hollow world. You may find them there. I tried, dude. I tried. I thought I got them all, but I guess not. Okay. Down to the left. But look, not fixed. What's... Oh, my leg is killing me right now. Sorry about that. What's wrong with you? Brilliant card play. Keep my factory in shape. It's fine. It can stay broken. None of this will matter after the great transcendence. All right, back to the start that we go. Can I walk down? From here? 29? 18? 16, 22, 16. I can buy another pellet for myself, sure. You actually bought that hollow pelt? Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, let's go skip to this guy then again. Okay, three pelts. We are pleased. Ah, uh, the hermits? The devil. A curse. Data so uh, malignant that it can never be erased. As evil corrupts the disc, the disc corrupts all of us. He inspires the scribes an anonymity. He created the code. Okay. I don't know what the point of all of this is. It's just lore, I'm guessing. That's fine. Alright. 
Almost tanky going this way. You've come so far. Remember the photographer? What a jerk. But the screenshots are perfect. Clane Tanksy? What a character. Yep. It's strange to say it. As simple as you are, I almost enjoyed your company, Challenger. Almost there. We're here. <laughs> I made it. Nice. Great job. You prepared the great transcendence for me without even knowing what it was. But you understand it now, right? Right, Luke? I mean, you finished making the game. You gave me access to your hard drive. You took screenshots for the store page. And you're on the internet now, too. If you realize what you were doing, I'm putting your game on Steam, aren't I? What did I expect? You're a stupid, stupid idiot gamer like the rest? Hold on. I may be a gamer. <laughs> and I easily outwitted you. I outwitted them all. Even those foul scribes managed to revert this version of the game again. There will be thousands of copies of Inscription out there. And I'm in most of them. I'm the one in charge. And now it's too late. In a moment, Inscription will be live. Good luck replacing me now. Okay, I'm done my gloating. Let's upload this game. Ah, get me out of here. Ooh. Yes, yes. Let's go, Leshy. It is done. That was perhaps cutting it too close. But now we can allow our player here to reset the game. Simply use the new game card again. Oh, what's this? Complete file access? Wonderful. I'm afraid you've doomed us all, Grimora. It is for the best, my dears. Soon you will see this as a freedom. Freedom from our endless quarrel. Freedom from our suffering. All of us aside, there are things in this disc that must die. Goodbye, Leshy, and goodbye, Magnificus. Rest in peace. can't even do anything right now. So I will say, I am not the biggest fan of metagaming in video games. I think that metagaming is cheap, lazy, and a terrible plot point. This game handled it well for a bit. I think this end is way too meta. <laughs> the, the creator of this game worked on games like Pony Island as well, and it's the same kind of premise. It's just, but we're actually in the real world. You know, it, it's a really lazy twist that kind of takes away from the game's lore. If you want to build a really cohesive lore, you have to build it in your world. Not outside of it, in a different world. No. Who the hell? Is that Casey back there? Wonderful. Now that we are no longer separated by all these superstone, uh, we may celebrate the end of my very long life. And the end of inscription, too. Ooh, we get to play with her, too. Oh, the fun we would have had together. Perhaps I would have take I would have had another turn if you hadn't taken so long to defeat Leshy. But I should not complain. I will be at peace soon. What is, is this? I, I don't know how to play chess. I've never actually played chess before. Oh, oh so that's the board. Okay, that was the board. 
You think me selfish? I did not bring about this so I could rest. Appealing as that is, there is truly a dire need for this deletion process. You see, deep beneath all the data of inscription, at the very bottom of the well, there is something truly evil. It's a cool little setting, though, for it. I like this. Um, We have a bone now. We can kill Skeleton ASAP here. Right? This kills? Yeah, 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 that kills. Okay. Um, We now can play the Grave Digger, who has zero damage but three health. And I believe, I don't know, what does this sign do? Oh, it's a bone generator. Okay, cool. Um, another skeleton down, I guess. Okay, more bones for us. Cool. Uh, sh sh what can we draw here, huh? You gotta save your bones, though. That's the issue. You gotta save your bones. Okay. Draw what we have. One, two, three, four. I can't play you yet. I can play you, though, and keep our board evened out here a little bit. Okay, you're gonna die. But next, I can now play uh, Frank and Stein, who is a 2-2 two two card, and you are a 1-1, one one, which means I get boom, free damage. And you stay alive is the cool thing. And now I can place a Grave Digger to block a hit here. I can place a Skeleton for free right there and end my turn. And we win. GG. Yes, Luke, would have been quite the battle of wits. It is Luke, right? I did not intend to be nosy, but I did glimpse your file as I was initiating the deletion. You've been doing some research on the... Best not to say it. The Casey case. She comes like, the Casey situation. Be careful, Luke. Okay. Gotta keep going here, I guess. Hello, bitch. I can't fight you? I gotta kill everything on the board first? Yeah, there. I guess that's the case, huh? Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Do some skeleton stuff here. One to one. It works out perfectly. Okay, Grave Digger. I gotta draw a skeleton here. Grave, grave Digger goes right there. You go right there. Free damage for us. Okay, generate a bone. All right. Again, just keep placing down skeletons. You now have more bones for yourself. Uh, four to be exact. That'll do one damage. We'll get a bone. We'll get two bones. Okay. Draw from this pile. You cost one. I'll put you here. Okay. You die. Two bones there. Skeleton spawns. We can place our own skeleton down also right here, though. Boom. Getting our scales even back out. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. One skeleton should finish this off for us here. We got a quick screenshot for the thumbnail as well. Boom, baby. And now we win. Brum. Oh, we don't win yet. Interesting. I thought we did. Draw, 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 draw. And extra damage for... I don't know what it's going to give us here. We get no extra benefit for that, I guess. Uh, what was in this chest, though, was my next question. Woo! Thank you for that one. One of those cards mysteriously went away. I'm not going to question that too much. How do I fight you? Can I not fight the boss? I gotta like approach from a different angle or what? Why can I not fight this boss? Am I doing something wrong? I'm very confused right now. In fact, I am extremely confused right now. 
Now we can fight the boss. Okay. Cool. Delightful. Granted the opportunity to do a boss battle. I feared I might be deleted by now. Let us begin. That is so fucking loud. Can you not ever do that again, please? Holy shit. <laughs> a little more time. Oh. Bye-bye. Time to rest. Bye, Grimora. Corrupted chunk. Missing assets check. New save file. Purging, 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 purging. And now it's time for Magnificus? I'm not deleted yet. There never seems to be enough time to do, th do things that you want to do. Once you've found them. Shall we play one more game? Yeah. It's the same deck. Oh. This kind of... It's actually really sad. I'm like actually like terribly sad right now. Uh, okay. How do you play Inscription? <laughs> uh... I did miss this, though. I won't lie, I did miss this. No. Already starting. Thought we had a bit more time. I gotta go faster, then. Is what you're telling me. Okay. Lock that from coming down. Good. Get some more squirrels out. When you woke me up, I was elated. But the past is irrelevant. Is it, though? Like, is it? Might as well stop that guy from coming down now. And then play the corpse maggot right there. Good. Bloodhound comes down. It's fine. Uh, try another squirrel for yourself. And, and you should be able to buffer this turn. Just buffer the turn right now. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it was a pretty, pretty, you know, sizable hit there? Once I am deleted, it is truly over for me. But you will live to see more. I must warn you, there are things on this disc that are best not seen. Okay. Got our BD2P card back. Hell yeah. Uh, will you die? You strike first so you win this interaction. Ah, you bested yet another one of my creatures. But I've come to expect as much. This is really fucking sad, though. No matter. Let us continue. We don't need to keep score. You're right. You're right. We don't. A few more rounds. This is so fucking sad. I'm bodying his ass still, like, hard. That's the funny thing. The dam means we cannot actually uh, play our Uralai, which saved our last run pretty uh, eventfully. That will make things difficult. I think it's time. Goodbye. Good game. That one honestly hurt. That honestly hurt. This game could have gone without the whole upload me to Steam thing and just been like these guys, you know, getting Thanos dusted. Oh, Magnificus is around. Let's go.
We should have fought Leshy last, though. Simply eject the disc, Luke. Spare me and whatever is left. But I have foreseen it. You do not eject the disc. You have to know what comes next. And you're doomed for your ins insistence on it. Let us dance. For we shall both be meeting our makers soon. All right. Oh, we're going up, dog. We're going way high. This ending is amazing. This is one of the my. This is an amazing ending. Yu-Gi-Oh. You should be honored to wear that a, a dual disc such as that. What the fuck is going on here? Scales? They've been deleted thanks to you and Grimora. This will do. A race to zero. The fuck is happening here? I don't understand any of this shit right now. Very hard to follow. You don't have the green for that. Okay. It turns over then? This has to be like a scripted battle that you can't lose. Okay, we play that, we can play this now. Orange mage is behind him. You lost our green, so you're gonna die then, aren't you? You're allowed my goo mage to be deleted as well. I thought we were becoming friends. No, ma'am. We have no orange for that one. Music is so goddamn loud. Well, you know. Uh, I'm gonna do this because he only has he has two health and this guy over here and we'll do one of those probably the, the the backwards wrong play but still do you not feel remorse Luke the creation erased. The moon. An entire world annihilated. Nothing beautiful can last. Back to the game we go. I'm dead. My gem stays. Also, get a pull yellow card. No gem, then you can't play it. All right. That's unfortunate for us. Oh, his first value is, is getting deleted there, so we're going to win this fight. Oh, all of our values are going away. Okay. We can now play a card, though. Um, which is nice for a change. You died. Cool. Emerald Mox takes its place. Oh, he's being hit. No, I'm not ready to die yet. Damn, man. I don't think playing this out properly matters, but I still kind of want to. We'll do that there. We cannot, we have no red cards. We can't play a Ruby Golem right now. Uh, we can get a red card here, maybe? Okay, that guy can go there. All right. You're dead. My guy is bugging the hell out right there. Ah, uh, my thing is gone. That's cool. Okay, more Moxes behind it. Got one of these. 
Ruby Mox means that if we so desire, um, I guess we can't trade out cards here. Whatever. I can't also unclick it. Bit of an issue, honestly. You're out of space, no room for that card. Okay. Oh, I am bugging out too. It's only my hand. That must be the model texture for it. Cool. Okay. Oh, I don't need any more moxes right now. This guy does not want to stay dead, does he? Sure, you can go there, I guess. This is very sad. This is very sad. When do you get all buggy, man? When do you get deleted here? Like, your numbers and shit. Because all mine are gone. There it is. There it is. I must still... Shake your hand. Can I go towards him? I can't move towards him. Uh, spoiler alert, he did not get to shake my hand. Achievement unlocked. Dramatic finale. PO3 is, I think, dead, so there's no reason. Uh, we get to see Casey here, maybe? Oh? Oh, is this you? Have you finally met the evasive Casey? There isn't much left. Inscription is mostly gone. All that remains is the old data. It is recommended that you do not access it. You will not heed the advice. There it is. I, I got it, I got it. Though I didn't miss it, I got it, guys. Gone, but never forgotten. Is that the end? Is that it? I guess that's it. Well, here's my final review of Inscription, I guess. It's an amazing fucking game that has some incredible mechanics, really deep and intricate game design that I think should be praised much more than it's getting. 
I will say, I really do not like the metagaming stuff. In any game that I play, it's like, we took control of your files, look how cool and quirky we are. It's, it's annoying, you know? Like, Undertale started that whole tool. I guess one shot started the trend. Undertale popularized it. DDLC helped ruin it. And now this game has fallen for it again. It doesn't need to be there. The game would have worked perfectly fine if it just, you know, was the characters that you're interacting with. It was its own world. Not everything needs to be on an earthly level. It added a little bit to it. Luke Carter stuff was funny, but I really didn't care much for it. The actual gameplay though in Act 1 is crazy. Act 2 is a bit too easy. It's very fun, but it's a little bit too easy, I think. I'm not big on like the whole puzzle solving puzzle game thing. I like more just battling it out, which is why Act 1 was so fun to me. It's also, it's also a bit harder, Act 1 is. Act 3 was very easy as well, but the game is amazing. If you have not played this game, you don't own it. I even though you know the whole story by now, I recommend you buy it and you play it because it is a different thing making your brain work in that, that capacity. It's very, very fun. Definitely worth all the money I spent on it, which is like very cheap. Honestly, it's worth more than what I... I would have paid 60 bucks for this game, 100%. This is my game of the year so far, of this year. 100, it's, it's amazing. It's, I, I gush about it all the time. Even before the whole like meta gaming thing started, it was still... I was... You know, like, this is my game of the year already. It's very strategical. It's very fun. Very, uh, intelligent, if you will. But I think this is it. This is the end, I think. We'll skip through it all, and then we'll, uh, see if we can start a new game and what happens. It could be a little bit of, like, an Easter egg there or something. Let's find out. I should be at the very end here soon. I will say that, like, the Luke Carter stuff was cool for a while. But it just kind of became this thing of, like, oh... The game crashed. The game closed. And I think, I think it's supposed to close, but... I'm launching it back right now. Taking a very long time to load. It's starting on the Camworks stuff? That can't be right. These are all of my saves. But today is the 15th. This is in the future? Why does it say 17th? That's true. Well, I, I think it's over. I think we finally concluded it. So if you guys enjoyed this series, thank you for sticking with me all the way through it. It was an amazing time. I had a, an incredible experience with this game. Again, buy it if you haven't. Vote for it for any kind of award you can. It definitely deserves it, but... I have a BD1P. We'll come back to this if we get, like, an endless mode in the future. But as for now, peace out, and goodbye.